Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to ISD Football in Dubai Sports City. For the fourth FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup, it's time for the bowl semifinals between UA Shaloub and Tunisia SPPE Academy. We're well and truly into the knockout stage, and it's the home side kitted out in orange and black, taking on the Tunisians in all blue and the red trim. Should be an absolutely incredible finals day. Trophies will be distributed, hearts will be broken, and dreams will be fulfilled. And we're all set for the action to begin at the South Pitch here in Dubai Sports City. Absolutely looking forward to today. And of course, you can live stream all of the action on the FIFCO TV YouTube channel and Facebook page. So it's going to be the home team kicking off from right to left of your screen. And the Tunisians just getting their final group photos taken. They've made it all the way to the bowl semifinals. And they will be hunting for trophies. And of course, UA Shaloub triumph over the countrymen. UA PWC in a thrilling game in the quarterfinal stage. Let's see what both sides have in store for us. Should be very entertaining. 5-on-5 five five futsal, rolling subs. Two halves of 15 minutes each. Non-stop, breathless action. Right then, we're seconds from kickoff. It's going to be Tunisia with the ball first. And let's see what they can produce. They've had a rough time of it in the tournament. But now it's a knockout stage. It's anybody's game. Here we go. Action is underway. Immediately on the ball. Looking to be positive here. Work along the left flank. And cut out. Of the UAE number five, Bilal out there. Will be a kick in for the Tunisians. Have to go all the way back. Shot is blocked comfortably by Marcello. Him and Cosmo have been the standout players for UAE Shaloub. Nice inlet ball. Chipped in, and that's a wonderful move blocked by Anas in the UAE goal. Wonderful vision and found the attacker right in the middle of the action inside the UAE box. Corner for Tunisia. And he gets a hand on it. Now they will look to break. Ah, oh, the through ball needed to find the gap. Moose on the ball, works it to Bilal on the right flank. No signs of Cosmo so far. Lofted. Oh, there was some space. 
for the UAE. Near the left upright. That was a chance gone begging. Rolled out to Hamuda. Space down the left flank. Nicely turned in. Good move here from Tunisia. Working the ball around nicely. And here's some space once again. Beautiful dribbling. And just the finish was lacking. Brilliant stuff from the Tunisia number seven. Sparkling feet. And he should have put that away. If I'm very, very honest. Now the UAE look to rebuild from the back. Marcello, dancing feet. He's got different size boots, different colored boots, in fact. That's very interesting. A new trend being set here at the FIFA World Corporate Champions Cup. Good tackle, solid tackle. Tunisia cut out the danger. There was some space. Marcello on the ball once again. Tried to take that kick in again. Looking for room down the left. And easily cleared by Amin, number three for Tunisia. It's been a slightly defensive start to the game. Both sides not looking to make early mistakes. It's number 12, Kali, forming up. He's a dynamic player. Here comes Tunis Tunisia on the counter-attack. Nicely played to the right flank. Some space here. Worked in, and it's 1-0. Buried. Easy as you like. UAE exposed on the counter. Not wasting any time here, the UAE. They've been set back early. They've been slightly sluggish, if I'm very honest. Great turn from Marcello. Oh, another brilliant move. And a good save. Well stopped there by the Tunisian goalkeeper. Wonderful feints and dummies by Marcello. And there you can see Cosmo to the left of your screen. Low cross, cleared by the keeper. And they have to go all the way back and reset with Anas. Good positive intent from Tunisia so far. And they've got some space here now. Another solid save. Will be another corner for UAE. They want to get on level terms as quickly as possible. Fancy attempt there by Marcello. Well read by the defense. And in fact, it's a goal kick. So Tunisia on the ball now. Nice turn, nice move. Oh, and he's burst through, through the entire UA defense. And it had to be Anas once again. It's been... Another mistake at the back, blocked in time. It was Bilal who got in the way. And they have to just get rid of the ball. Wonderful start here for the North Africans. Really pouring forward with a lot of intent. Quick, sharp passing. Marcello bursting forward, 1v4. And he's been knocked over for a foul. So a set-piece opportunity for UAE. Played quickly. Shot was blocked. Here come Tunisia one, once again. 2v2, 3v2. Can he find the cross? Blocked by the UAE GK. Another corner. You can see the Tunisian flag in the background flying high. And why not? They're playing beautiful futsal. Cut out by Marcello. Looking positive. Beats one man. He has some support, but just frustrated eventually. UA Shaloub have not looked on their money so far.
that is sluggish. It's only Marcello showing some intent. Low cross, easily cleared. And here comes Tunisia once again. Oh, that's a shoulder push there. Barged into him. And rightly given as a foul. Desperate defending there by Bilal. Six, seven minutes rather into the first half. It's been all Tunisia. The men in blue are ruling. But they'd like a couple more goals here. Not a great wall there. Cosmo standing in there alone. Blocking that far post. Oh, that's been fizzed over the bar. Too much power on it. A dangerous situation. This game to nothing. Kali into the game now. They need something from him, a spark. He has that speed. He has that close control. Here he goes. Look at that speed. Look at that turn. Down the right. Into the box. And blocked just in the nick of time. That was a wonderful opening for Cosmo. Kali plays it back, but the pass was short. Another kick in. Here comes Tunisia once again, wave after wave of measured, precise passes. They really bossed the game, chipped in, and here's some space. Oh, that's a wonderful save by Anas. He's still in trouble. They eventually clear. Desperation at the back, and here comes Cosmo. Skips past one, down the left, trying to square the ball in. Nobody there except Tunisia. Outside of the boot, and it's a goal. What a finish there by Murad. A rare mistake by Anas. Nine minutes in, and nothing happening for the home side. Zuli comes into the game now. Cosmo, the playmaker. Here comes Kali down the right. They have to get one back before the break. It might be too late by then. While also into the game. So in it's an entirely changed lineup. Kali has some space. Good turn. Sparkling feet. They will get a kick in here. He was eventually crowded out. Duli and Cosmo at the back. The two-man pivot. Nice approach play, but the Tunisians are wise to it. While Kali, he has some space. Goes for goal and uh, tipped over the bar. Corner for UAE. Needed to go for a low shot across the goal. Went for power instead. Cosmo into the box. Balls to Tunisia. They need to get the ball out quickly, though. And they've lost possession. Good pressing from UAE. While with some space. And here comes Tunisia, bursting forward down the right. And here's the chance for a counter-attack. Cosmo on the left. He needs to find the pass. While one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's tripped up near the box. And is that a foul? No play on. No call for the UA. Here we go. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Good save by Anas. Good save. Amin in space.
Oh, this is an opening. What a save by Anas on the near post. And he bellows out a shout in excitement. Brilliant save. That should have been 3-0. That could have been the game. He's keeping UAE in it. Another good stop while looking to turn. Blind pass. There's nobody there. Easy pickings for Tunisia to retain the ball. And they're in no hurry. Could be a mistake. Cosmo tried to chip the keeper. Kali. They should have won the ball there. Eventually they get it back. Back heel. He's there to intercept. Played forward. Oh, this is a chance. And Cosmo, of all people, can't trap the ball. He was all alone with the goalkeeper. Incredible. It's just not been their morning so far. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Two nil to the good are the men in blue of Tunisia. They've got one foot in the bowl final. Some space. Good turn. Played into the box. Blocked by Anas once again. Took a bit of a knock there. It's number five, Fahmi, for Tunisia. He's an important player. Hopefully he'll be all right. Of course, all of these teams, 16 in all, played a lot of futsal over the last two days. Non-stop action. It can be quite taxing. You need a lot of stamina, a lot of endurance. You need to make your rolling substitutes in good time. Rotate your entire squad. Hopefully, he can get some medical assistance. So UAE on the ball now. Dooley working the spaces. Can't beat the man, and Cosmo has to clean up. Last minute of the first half, it's been all Tunisia. They've been brilliant in defense and deadly in attack. And Yui Shaloub, who looks slightly disturbed here, cannot find answers. While works it to Cosmo, 1 2, and just beyond while. That was a good move, good idea. Once again, the final ball was missing. Wonderful close control. It has just been shrugged off the ball. No, Tunisia win it back. Oh, this could be a chance to break. Two versus the goalkeeper. And UAE are back in it. On the stroke of halftime, Cosmo. The leader of the pack. Simple finish. There was nothing the goalkeeper could do. 2-1. And they've got that precious goal. Just before halftime. For once the Tunisians made a mistake. And we go into the half. With UAE trailing by one.
underway is the second half. UAE trailing by one. And you can see by the body language of the players, they couldn't care less about the break. They were out there a couple of minutes way before the kickoff. They want to get underway. They want to get going. Chipped into the box while that was a difficult one to take. But the intent is clear. We want to get on level terms. We want to qualify for the bowl final. But it's been all Tunisia so far, it has to be said. The men in blue have played fabulous futsal. Dooley pushing forward. He finds Kali down the right. Good keep once again. Cross towards Weil. And just about kept out by Tunisia. That was close. So an early opportunity created. They need to take some risks here, UAE. And there is where Tunisia can, can pounce. Early corner for them. Kali tracking his man. Into the box. Well, it found a Tunisian player. While isolated with the keeper. But he clears it quickly. Oh, here's some space. One Tunisian versus three UAE players. And he's eventually crowded out. Dooley, here he comes. Skips in. While three versus one. Oh, he went for the fake. And Cosmo wasn't ready for it. Nice dummy. Nice idea. But once again, if they had played it normally, it should have been 2-2. Intercepted by Dooley. I think he's got it kicking for UAE. Yeah, that's the right call. Kali on the ball. Trying to score for a shot. No, he's looking to make a move in. He beats one. Oh, that got out in the right moment. Just the right instance. Intercepted. UAE once again. Goes for a shot. Blocked by Hamuda. It will be a corner to UAE. This is the team we expected to see. While, oh, good tackle there by Amin. He's been shrugged off the ball aggressively. The referee allows play to go on. Dooley. Looking to reset. Kali on the ball. While. Oh, another save by the keeper. Well, they're still protesting with the referee. He was on the floor. And very lucky that they didn't concede a second there, Tunisia. Here comes Cosmo. Oh, he's, that's a poor ball. Tunisia. Trying to rebuild with Fahmi, he goes all the way back. It's a wise decision. And they're being hurried here by the high press of UAE. Xavi into the game now. Another attacker. Cosmo always has his head up, always looking for the right pass. It's a poor ball. Fahmi cuts it out. Wins it back though, UA. And fast. One, two. Blocked in time. Intercepted by Cosmo. That was very important. Another brilliant save. This time at the near post. Xavi with the golden chance. Marcello straight at the keeper. Mohamed. He's made three or four brilliant saves. But that one seems to have just taken the wind out of him. And perhaps some cramp as well. Well, how long will the referee allow this until he demands a substitution?
Here come UAE. They've won the ball back. Chavi once again cleared. And the Tunisian goalkeeper has been very busy in the first five minutes of the second half. UAE knocking on the door. No shot. Fizzed, fizzed wide. It does seem like it's going to be the men in orange who will get the next goal. That's a very poor throw and blocked again. Well, he has no one else to blame but himself. Corner for UAE. Cosmo fakes the shot on his left. And that's another top save by the Tunisian goalkeeper. How long can he keep them out? It's wave after wave of attack from the home team. Chipped into the box. No, cut out easily. Oh, good tackle there by Ahmed. Cosmo bursting forward. This should be 2-2. How have they missed? Nobody willing to take a shot. And Tunisia survive. Here come Tunisia, Fahmi, the ball just went wide. Well, he's appealing for a handball, right on the edge of the box. Kali back into the game. Time is running out. UAE have wasted a number of chances in this half. They still trail by one. What a battle it's been. Rolled in. Oh, just goes wide. That was a nice play. Couldn't quite put it away. Seven minutes remaining in the second semi final. UAE trailing. Tunisia hang on or will UAE equalize? It's a free kick. Fair distance out. Marcello standing over it. Cosmo on the left flank. Julie getting ready to get back into the game. Roll to Cosmo. Strong shot but blocked. A sea of blue in front of him. Fahmi chips it in. This could be an opportunity. Roll to the right. Good passing from Tunisia. Very precise. Pass the left upright. That was a dangerous opportunity. Cello, oh, that's his loose ball. Intercepted. Good footwork here by Murad. Well, he's battling hard. He's a big lad. Not perhaps the quickest, but hard to get off the ball. Kali down the right. Is that ball kept in? No, that was too casual. Five minutes remaining in the second bowl semi final. I mean, on the ball. He's played a brilliant match. Look at that turn. He's through, but the shot fizz is wide.
No time to waste for UAE. Another poor ball. I mean, once again, how many interceptions has he made in this game? I've lost count. And I think that might be a corner kick. No, it's given as a goal kick. Marcello, good ball. Work to Cosmo. These two have to do it. Brilliant tackle. He's won the ball there. Hamuda. Amin. Uh, some tired legs out there. They're playing in the early morning here. I had ISD football, Dubai Sports City, our gracious hosts. Oh, that's a good ball. Cosmo has some space here. Turns one. And there it is, the equalizer for UAE. Cosmo, once again the man to do it for the home side. In the bottom left corner. What a match. So it's all tied up. And this could be wild and blocked in time by the Tunisian GK. Well, you can see the frustration. Waji into the game, number 11. Fahmi bursting forward, 2v2. Makes a move. Saved by Salman. Great defending by UAE. Cosmo. Gets on his left. He has two UAE teammates with him. While in the box. Looking for a foul, maybe. Brilliant defending. Well, was that tackle legal? Play on. It's two versus one. Oh, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. From Ahmed, no, pardon me, Bilal at the back. He was all alone versus two Tunisians. And he got the ball. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Tired legs out there. Both sides now struggling to get back. They have to take that corner kick again. Some rolling subs were being made. Frustration, rightly so, passions are running high. It's Moose with the corner. Low driven in, Cosmo looking to turn. Too many men in the way. And hit into the side netting. Two to Kali breaking forward. There's some space and he couldn't find the through ball to Wael. That was a good opportunity. Well, the final minute of the game. We might be going into extra time here. Long free kick for the UAE. Dooley has some space. All Tunisian men in their half. Speculative shot. That wasn't going anywhere. And I think we may have to go beyond the half an hour. Both teams deadlocked. Nothing to choose between them. Kali has a late opportunity here. Wael has some space and blocked. He's missed. A golden chance goes begging for the home team. And it's Murad on the floor in pain. 
We may need added injury time here. Here we go then, Tunisia come forward, the final minutes of the game, outside of the boot, and it goes well wide from Waji. Cosmo down the left, here's an opening, UAE cannot find the winner here, he went it all alone. And that will be all she wrote. Nothing to separate the two sides. So it will be penalties to decide the bowl finalist. And the first kick goes to Tunisia. It's going to be number seven, Hamouda, with the first one. Well, who will hold their nerve? It's a smaller goal, it's quite difficult to find the gaps. And it will be the Tunisians to go first. It's Salman in goal, he had a brilliant game yesterday. Let's see if he can reproduce those heroics on finals day at the fourth FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup, Dubai 2022. Penalty. Number one for Tunisia. We wait with bated breath. Right then, here we go. Waiting for the referee's whistle. It's a long run up for Hamouda. Will that work in his favor or against him? 
One nil Tunisia, bottom right, and Salman had no chance. So they take the early lead. It will be Cosmo stepping up for UAE Shaloub. Cosmo smashes it into the top left. What a penalty. No chance. 1-1. One, one. It's all tied up. Who will blink first? Will it be the North Africans or the home side? Who can hold their nerve? Off the left upright. A save for UAE. It's Salman the hero once again. So UAE have the advantage. They will be taking the final kick as well. It's gone in through the goalkeeper. 2-1 to UAE. The pressure is on the North Africans. They were 2 0 of the boot. Fahmi will take the third PK for the Tunisians. And it's off the right upright this time. Can you believe it? They've missed two in a row. And it's all over. Go out in the bowl semifinals. It's UAE, the home team, who progress on penalties. What a thriller of a game here at the fourth FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup. The home side progress to the grand final.
with another member from the team UAE and representing the company. Shalub. Shalub, what's your name? Coach Lucio. He's a coach. Lucio, tell me something. Right now you just finished one game against Tunisia. You guys just won. How do you guys feel? How do you feel representing obviously your team? Yes, of course, we are very happy that we are participated again and uh, we are hosts for the second year. Uh, we have a tough match today. We start not quite very good as we expected, yeah. But you know, the, the exhausted from the previous day, you would feel it in everyone. And uh, after that, not a good start with uh, the other team, they lead with 2-0. We believe in ourselves and we try slowly, slowly to come back. Uh, we reach 2-1, 2-2. We missed the chance to win in the uh, normal time, but in additional time and penalties, we did it at the end. So this is one of the few teams that went already to penalties, and this is how the UAE won. Um, are you guys ready now for the semifinals? Yes, we are ready. Yeah, In two hours, we still have, I think, less than two hours, we have the next match. We're looking forward. We're going to try to rest a little bit, together up, and we fresh new start for the next game, too, of course. All right. Now, you guys uh, obviously represent Dubai here, like the UAE. Um, since you guys are here, do you guys think you have uh, an advantage, maybe, because of the weather, comparing with maybe other teams? Would that be a thing? It might be a thing. Uh, if I start thinking that, uh, for example, Switzerland, they have a, it's a country with, I was living there, and uh, I know it's a country with four seasons, and maybe it might be a little bit hot for them, for example. Us, we get used to with the weather, but even today it was quite hot. The other disadvantage for us is that we didn't play too much five aside, and we didn't play too much with this kind of football. We play most of the time with seven aside, but uh, we, still, uh, we still need to learn about this one and try to get better and better and better. So are we hoping that the cup stays here? We hope, we hope, we hope. We, we hope like uh, every year and that too because we are happy to participate. And of course, we have more extra ambition because we are the host and we want to show to the people that even here in the Middle East, we have quality football. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Lucian. Thank, Thank you, everyone. And we're going back right now with the commentary boxing. Thank you.